Hello everyone, I'm Ellie with Star Love, and I'm reporting live from my house. It's Saturday, November, oh, sorry, December 30, 2018, and tomorrow is New Year's Eve. So, happy 2019, everyone. Today, I would like to talk to you about something, um, not so pleasant, but I think and I hope that it will help some of you deal with it in case you ever going to deal with it or maybe you have it right now and you looking up on YouTube information about this was which is precisely what I did when I first had this chalazion I didn't even know what it was called I looked up information on the web and on YouTube I found some interesting videos of uh, quite a few people who suffered through it and uh, some of them were um, very convincing it looked like it traumatized them a lot <laughs> and um, I decided to bring some props to this video because I want to share with you what exactly I used and this is what I was personally looking for uh, to see uh, not only what it was, but if there was a way to get rid of it and what people use to get rid of it. So, some had surgeries and that's something I didn't want to do at all uh, for two main reasons. A, I don't have health insurance and also the descriptions I heard about the surgery were quite gruesome. So, um, yeah, and then in America, as you know, healthcare is not cheap to say the least. So, this is, uh, okay, so, uh, a specialist eye doctor uh, actually recommended, now I have to say that this was recommended to me, um, after I had it for several months already and I couldn't get rid of it, so, uh, I wish I knew, um, and maybe if I used it from the get-go, um, then I would have had the Chalazion for a matter of weeks as opposed to a matter of several months. I actually just got rid of it this fall of 2018. So it's called, and I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it, I'm, I'm not an expert in, 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 in medicine. So yeah, this is uh, just uh, my personal experience and my work differently. For someone else, I used the neomycin and polymycin B sulfates and dexamethasone ophthalmic ornament. Oh goodness grace! And it's from Sandos. That's the name of the company, I believe. So it looks like this actually. I hope you can see this. And actually, inside. It's, it looks like this, okay? Um, you put just a little bit and you rub it on the chalazion. Now, when my mother actually, who, uh, who was a, she was a nurse, she rubbed it in, she massaged it, and I, I even fell asleep. So, that's how you deal with it. I think the doctor said I should put it in the eye, but I didn't. I put it on the actual chalazion. Um, and so that's one thing, and that helped a lot. Now, I ordered, uh, so I, okay, what I used before I start using this medicated um, cream is I used this, eggs. Heating the egg and putting it, cutting it in half. My mom would boil it, cut it in half. We we, co we covered it uh, with a cloth and we put it on top of the eye. Uh, before, I forgot what we used, but whatever we used before did not hold the heat that long. And, oh, I think... Anyway, oh, shoot, I have a call. Hold on a second, let's see who it is. Hello? Hello? It's Chef Miduam. Uh-huh. Okay. Sorry, I gotta go. But uh, so the eggs, <laughs> and 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 I would clean my eyes with baby shampoo. Okay, baby shampoo and Q-tips. Okay, everybody knows how Q-tips looks like, right? Baby shampoo, which God knows how in the world we had one at home, but we did. 
And finally, with the Q-tubes, I also used apple cider vinegar, which a lot of people on YouTube swear that it helped them. And I actually drink it with ginger and warm water um, and lemon every day in the morning. Keeps me from eating like a pig. And then I eat my first meal around 12 noon or later on. Well, that's something else. Anyway, um, so because the eggs were... I would actually eat the other half of the egg. It was, mm, smelled amazing. And then the other half I used for like a day or two, I'd put it in the fridge and heat it in the microwave. It was not very um, good. So I went to the, um, so on Amazon I got this from this thigh And it's a pad that has this, which is really neat. And actually I keep this in the freezer, so it's really cold now. But just in case you get bruises, you fall down or something on your knee and you can use it. But I bought it for heating purposes. Um, Believe it or not, it took this product to get to me forever in the mail. And it's considered emergency, urgent, but not the delivery, apparently. The day I got it, I, I, I think I started oozing for some time because of all the massaging. And it, it became, suddenly became smaller and smaller and it went down and down. And it was the size of a pea at some point. It was huge. And, and then the day this arrived in the mail... I, I, I blood starts uh, coming up after I use the egg so I stopped using the egg and my mom didn't recommend we use it at all so I got it in the mail and I never used it but a few days ago my mom had pain in her ear and this actually helped we heated it up and she used it and so yeah so it's good to have it anyway at home I highly recommend and I think that's about it that's how the chalazium slowly but surely went away Hopefully once and for all. Now, I want to show you a picture of how I looked before. So bear with me. And <clears throat> here we go. Hold on. Okay. So it's going to be a little... Oh, shit. That's myself? What? Hold on. It is myself. I want to try to... Oh, God. Sorry about this, everybody. It's, this is what happened when you have live video and very slow computer. So here is the Chalazion. You can see this is how it looked, okay? Not very pleasing. Here is another photo. By the way, you see this thing right here at the bottom? I'm zooming in. My mom actually got rid of it. Um, it was scary. I covered my eye. Um, she did an amazing job. If ever you, anybody wants to learn more, you can message me. But yeah, anyway, this is how it was. I can't tell you when. That's my dear mom, and she's making these eggs. Okay, I think, oh, you see this thing? That's, that's what kind of we used around the eggs, this um, blue thing next to it. Okay, here we go. Oh, that looks threatening. No, it wasn't really um, bad. It was just on the top of the eye. On the eyelid, rather. Sorry. Uh, that's my mom applying it. You see the half egg? So, I ate the other half. And my dear mom. This is all from, I believe, the fall of 2018. And we're just now in the beginning of the winter of 2018. So, that's my mom and me. Yeah, this is from below. <laughs> Another one. Okay, here we go. <laughs> this is how I held it, okay? Over the eye, uh, eyelid. And here goes another shot of me and the egg. And yeah, each of those eggs kind of lasted for a few days. I put it in the fridge, microwave it. But like I said, that's why we ordered that thing uh, in the mail that arrived. But... The blood started coming out, so I never really got to use it, which is good, I guess. Um, here we go. You can see this is the one down already, I think. So it was. This is in the better stages of the Chalazion. And here we go. You can see how I was holding it. Um, yeah. And that's me looking like. Yeah. Um, pirate, right? Of the Chalazion. And that's it! So, uh, I hope you all benefited from this video. I did my best to provide you the most effective information. And I wish everybody 
happy and healthy new year in 2019 and way beyond. Thank you. Take care. My favorite movie, by the way. Stop!